One of the hardest things for entrepreneurs, business people, executives, or anybody for that nature that's managing a project, even parenting, talk to your kid, is communication. And communicating your value. Um, that's one of the, the biggest struggles and that can make or break your business, make or break your project if you do not know how to communicate the value that you're bringing to the market. And that's what this vlog is really attempting to do, is not just to communicate something, like just to speak out at the market, but over time, build a perspective. Like, I'm crafting a perspective that someone in the market can buy into. And because of that perspective, um, it creates value. The, va the perspective itself creates value. And, and I'm learning this all on the fly. Because usually, you know, if you're on YouTube, you see a lot of different talking heads. Um, somewhat unique, there are somewhat unique perspectives. But they're really talking at you. Um, and then they, they want you to buy into whatever that persona is. But we're moving into a time for going from persona to perspective. And this perspective is going to win, not the persona, because there's so many personas. So that's why I take time with these vlogs. A part of the practice of these vlogs is to develop a perspective. When I started this, it was like, I look back to the first episode I did, it's like the perspective wasn't there. But as now we're on season seven of this, 75 episodes we've done, 75 in a row, 75 days straight, um, the perspective is starting to take shape. And that's what I want those that are listening, that are, have the ear to hear what I'm saying, to buy into that perspective. This is not for everyone. This is for a specific group of people um, to buy into. So with that said, think on that. What's your perspective? Today I'm doing some really, really tedious work. And oh, that makes my brain <laughs> go crazy. Let me show you really quick. Chat, chat GPT build what I call a priority matrix, um, which allows me to prioritize how to implement different pieces of the infrastructure that I'm building. So I'm taking all the content from ChatGPT and then I'm turning it into, let me make it a little bit bigger here, a spreadsheet. And as you see here, like priority. So I've already did about 40 of these. I have, to, I have about 20 more to go. And when I say tedious, this is not my favorite type of work, but this is the type of work and the level of detail that I need to do in order to run um, this module that I'm, I don't know, I'm, this infrastructure that I'm building out. But my brain is fried over doing this. When you're building a very unique value proposition, doing these tedious things right here, you make the barrier of entry into your space so high because most people aren't going to be willing to do all these little nitty gritty things. Um, they're going to drop out. So that's one of the ways that you really build a moat around your product or your service is you're doing these, these micro tedious things that the average person is not going to do. That's, gonna, that's the thing that's going to make you stand out. Not many people are going to put all this time that I'm putting in. Hundreds of hours of building up the architecting and engineering uh, uh, infrastructure for private equity and M&A firms and it's one of those things where you know I don't like doing it but it just has to be done right now putting this together um, this is where the rubber really meets the road because as I'm doing this like you hear the, the, the monkey brain chirping like what did you get yourself into you're deep in the weeds now <laughs> it's equivalent of like being in the desert and you're just looking for water and your mind is playing tricks on you and showing you mirages of uh, water um, and your mouth is salivating. Um, that's how this feels. It feels like that, but you have to dig. This is the thing that, like I said, it, it creates a moat around your product or service. Is 
these tedious things. And this is where most people, and I've, I've dropped out. I've worked on projects or started projects, and I got to this phase of it um, where it was just so tedious, I would just drop out. I, I would just tap out. But because I had those experiences, I know what I'm dealing with now. So now I can go through it and bear, you know, the, the torment <laughs> of this, you know, of the details here. But um, it's going to be worth it. And that's how I have to continue to remind myself. Um, that's why I'm sharing it with you. I'm shining a light on it. Um, so that I'm, A, being held accountable as well. So, here we go. Taking a little break. I'll have to get back to it. I'm almost to have 20 more, a block of 20 more to go, and I'll be done. One thing I must say, once you get into the groove, once you lock in, it becomes easier. And your brain starts to find patterns to make it work faster. Um, so I'm on my last stretch, and I'm noticing my brain is starting to do, 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 do. Like, it's, 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 it's locked in. But it took me some time to get to that point, but... I just wanted, I didn't want to just leave you with just like, oh, what was me? I wanted to capture in real time, like what's happening. My brain is coming up with faster ways. It's noticing patterns to actually finish it faster um, than I was maybe an hour ago when I first started. Finished. Finished. All right, so I am done with that work, that tedious work. Not done, done, but the hard part is finished. The hard part of it is finished. Um, so I'm just taking a nice long walk um, after that. And I'm going to try to find something to eat as well because uh, I am getting hungry. So heading over, uh, I think I'm going to get a salad. Um, but heading over to La Vida Cafe right now to get myself a salad. Then I'm gonna go back to the office because I have some more of the research work I was telling you about uh, with the silver tsunami, putting together that database right now. So stay tuned. I hear Levita about the fuel up really quick before I get back to it, but um, see you later. This is the last time you just wandered. You know, just wander around. Well, the last time I did it, I was in London this is a long time ago. Well, I should say the last time I, like the most memorable wandering when I was in London, um, a few years ago, I think about five, more than five years ago, anyway. And I just, I didn't know anything. I just walked. I mean, I was walking past Big Ben, the Buckingham Palace. Um, I was just walking, I mean, for hours. I had no clue where I was at, but it was the most inspiring, out few hours and I still remember it but I, I say that to say I'm not in London right now by any stretch of the imagination but I'm here where I'm at and I'm just wandering I just got done from eating and rather than just going straight to the office like I would normally do I'm just walking I don't know where I'm going and I'm just aimlessly just walking around I'm wandering and um Oh. And it's very refreshing um, Letting everything go And just allowing your legs just to move And just let your legs take you where they want to go Until they're ready to stop And I don't know, we need to do it more often The art of wandering Maybe I might write something or do something with that The art of wandering So AI can only do so much work um, so now what I had to do is print out that document that I showed you guys earlier. Because now this is where my human brain comes in. Where I have to go through each thing to make sure it makes sense. AI will get me, only gets me to a certain point. But then I have to use my human intelligence and my human genius to make sure it makes sense. Um, and so I'm going through it. I had to, I wanted to print it out because I don't want to be in front of the computer. Um, just so I can actually like engage with it at the most human level possible all right so i'm packing up for the day um about to go get something to eat but well, we're trying to find somewhere we're getting something to eat so with that said if anything resonates in the video let me know i'll be hanging out in the comments for a little bit I say peace. with that said peace peace